Dear civil engineers, till our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll draw our beam and grade beam. So in this lecture, I will just show you that how we'll modify that for our required level. Okay. So to modify that, first of all, I'll just go here. Uh, I can go footing level or ground floor level in any level. So I'll just go footing level. And from here, I will uh, select all of our columns from here. Software selecting, if I go in 3D view, just see we have selected all of our column. And also, if you want to filter that, you can just come here to filter. See, here uh, only structural columns, 18 elements, elements have been selected. So I'll just click OK. After that, I'll click here, copy to clipboard. So I'll click here and paste. Then here, align to selected level. Now I'll just come here and which level I'll just um, paste it. So always remember that this column will, if you select ground floor, then the column will uh, copy from down floor to below. So if you select first floor, then it will copy first floor to below. So you have to remember that. So that's why I'm selecting a first floor here. Then I'll click OK. Just see now one thing when we have selected first floor our below column I mean in below that was only four feet so if I just go here uh, in that view just see here that was from 0 to minus 6 I mean 6 feet column so that's why this column uh, we have uh, copied here that will be also six feet so we have to uh, merge that to our uh, second floor level okay so for that i will just uh, go to again three and see this is already selected already we have selected but some consider that this is not selected like that so what i will do just come here uh, sorry for disturbance i'll just go to our first floor just see here all of our columns are available i will simply select them from here and uh, I can go here filter what I've selected actually. So only have selected columns. So it's okay. Now I like and go in 3D view. Okay. Now what we'll do? They have two way. We can use that option. Detect top or base. But uh, that will be more time consuming. So what we'll do? I will just uh, use that option. So see here base offset. We are seeing that from base to I mean from that point to base we have four inch uh, four feet offset so after selecting if we simply make them zero okay and if we click apply here or if we move mouse on that here it will automatically increased just see now it's done how perfectly it's have done all right so after that you can go here fast follow so when you here now we can draw our beam so to draw beam we'll go a structure then we'll go beam and from here which steps of beam it will be it will be our floor beam so 10 into 18 i'll select that on and here everything that offset value in uh, yz everything will be zero zero okay now after that just come here and i'll select that option chain just see chain okay and here a uh, placement plane where i'll place in the first uh, first floor and here a structural uses automatic okay so after that i'll simply carefully uh, from that point to that point after that again that point after that again that point after that again i'll just come here and that point and here i'll just here so after that i will press escape and uh, okay i can draw that that side beam also so i'll just come here and i'll select that point again i'll go down so i'll just click here and I'll go again here 
to see that point so I'll after that I'll press escape and see again I'll press escape so see here we have a drone or that beam and that beam also okay so here I'll see there's a dot dot line because uh, if I just come here and graphical view after that you have to click here and apply then okay just see um, our beam we are uh, seeing our beam here perfectly now what you can do that you can copy that you know that as per our previous so press control and select that beam that beam that beam here and here if you want to see you can see in free view just see we have selected our that beam I'll just go fast forward and I will click here I'll copy that so copy okay and here obviously uh, click on that option multiple so that we can do that everything at a time so I'll click multiple and I will take that one as a base after that I'll just come here I'll zoom it and I will consider that middle point okay again I'll come here and here I'll just click here to see we have uh, drawn our beam and after that I'll click escape so I've drawn our beam here perfectly right now what I'll do I'll just copy that beam in that direction so I'll select that one after that press control and that one and copy after that here this is the start point this is your start point after that I'll just come here like that and must your multiple should be take so here another beam and here another and here another again move and finally done then skip double skip just see we have done that now if we see in 3d just see we have created our all of beam perfectly so in our next lecture i'll show you that how we define and create our floor and after that how we'll create our stair and after that we'll simply replicate all of our structure perfectly without any problem so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and obviously if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and obviously leave a comment how was that video and don't forget to like our video so thank you thank you for staying with me